Hi, my name is Peter Beardmore. I'm Director of Product Marketing at F5 NGINX, and I'm thrilled to be here today with Sean Warmke, General Manager of NGINX, and Eric Braun, Vice President of Product Management. Today is an exciting day at F5 App World. Sean, tell us what's happening today with NGINX. Well, today at App World, we're announcing NGINX One, and this is one of the biggest breakthroughs that we've ever had in the history of NGINX. It's a transition to SaaS, it's a SaaS console, it's all of our data plane products and manageability, all rolled into one consumption-based product. So Eric, let's start out with how did we get here? What were the issues that you were dealing with that led to NGINX One? Yeah, sure, thanks Peter. Uh, the issues are ranging, but I, I, in summary, I think it's a diversity of both environments and requirements. So. When you think about environments, there's uh, a wide variety of infrastructure and available system resources if, when you go from the data center to the edge to a device. And then when you think about uh, actual application requirements, you have a lot of diversity around uh, the, the real timiness, so how often the data needs to be updated, the performance, uh, how it scales, and all sorts of things like that. So. In real world examples, you have everything from uh, a uh, you know, low bandwidth IoT application that might be used for something like agriculture, testing, soil saturation, and minerality, and then you might have connected cars where milliseconds really matter and you have limited space on the vehicle and you need to connect to a cloud, and that data and those sensors need to be streaming and exchanging data on a near real-time basis. So Sean, let's start out with what is NGINX One and what are the benefits that you expect NGINX One to, to bring to our customers? Yeah, sure. So I think the first thing to understand is that NGINX One is really a whole product offer. So what that means is that you get all of the data plane that you're used to, NGINX Plus, NGINX Open Source, Unit, our Kubernetes integrations, along with the management uh, of those instances. You no longer have to pay for them separately and we deliver it in SaaS. And so that means that you get to pay as you go, and you only need to pay for the amount that you consume. And because of this, customers can enjoy greater scalability, availability, and performance. And along with that comes greater security and control, not only of your applications, but also of your development processes, and we can make those much more efficient and scalable as well. All right, so Eric, how is this different from today? Let's start with, all in, right? The, yeah. the data plane products yeah. and the management. What, what does that mean? Yeah, so up until today, up until very recently, we had a very sprawling portfolio of many different components. So depending on how you slice it up between commercial and open source pieces, uh, we had anywhere from 12 to 15 different things that we sort of sold or deployed separately. Um, these were data plane components or, or uh, data plane components to uh, sort of management components. We had security pieces. Uh, we had different interfaces depending on whether you're deploying in sort of a standard virtual machine environment versus a Kubernetes environment. And uh, in that, we were really trying to accommodate a lot of different use cases. Uh, while doing that, we found that the use cases I mentioned, the sort of that diversity statement that I made earlier, uh, they, were, they were a little too prescriptive and constraining. So what that meant was a lot of customers, while we were satisfying the use case at a broad level, they had very specific requirements that we just can't predict or plan for because they are so varied. So we really needed to come back to basics and provide a, a very easy to deploy, easy to operate, easy to scale, easy to secure type of solution that had no constraints on it. So it could accommodate really anything that they needed uh, and uh, and deliver that in a, in a, in a SaaS experience uh, that really anyone, any developer, any administrator, any security, any SecOps individual could very easily sort of shift left and do that um, in the context of a surrounding very complicated environment. So Sean, how does management fit into this? Yeah, so, so previously uh, we sold our management products separately from our data plane products. And since we want all of our management products to be, or sorry, all of our data plane products to be manageable, we don't want to charge you anymore for that. We don't want to charge you for the privilege to manage the products that you know and love. And with observability, 
it provides much more value to our customers than we were able to offer before. And now that we're including Nginx One as SaaS and delivering it through the F5 Distributed Cloud Council, you now have access to all of the products that F5 has in Distributed Cloud. So that's things like secure multi-cloud networking. It's things like web application and API protection. There's CDNs, there are DNS services. All of those things come to bear in the Distributed Cloud Council and gives you a single pane of glass in order to manage those. Eric, why the move to consumption-based pricing? Yeah, so as I mentioned, we're, we're coming from a place of a, of a very sprawling portfolio with a bunch of individual components. And as that sort of built out over time, where we ended up was we had on the order of six different metrics for metering various types of consumption and six different uh, ways, so six different ways of billing for our customers. That becomes very hard to manage, very hard to predict, very hard to understand and observe, uh, very hard to plan around. Uh, so what we've done is we've, in, in this new SaaS delivery system, uh, we've singled in on one consumption metric, uh, which will be around connections. We'll, we'll offer some variance on how we sort of, uh, uh, we'll offer some variance on that. But effectively what it comes down to is um, you'll have this, you'll have one way to bill, one way to consume. It'll all be pay as you go. Uh, what that does is it allows customers to start small and grow into it. So under the previous billing mechanisms, customers really had to invest a lot up front without quite knowing when they were going to utilize the resources that they were paying for. And that was prohibitive for, for new applications and, and new innovation that uh, had cost constraints that didn't need that type of investment. Uh, so this is really gives our customers a lot more freedom uh, to use Nginx wherever they want, however they want, at whatever, at whatever level they want. Uh, and uh, it'll allow them to really sort of grow into what they need from it. Also probably makes it a lot easier for the procurement people as well, because less, less to buy, right? Yeah, and it's, it, it's, 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 how, they, it's how they've known, uh, grown to know consumption of cloud today. So it, it's not foreign in any way. It's a very familiar concept to how one consumes services in the cloud. So what does this year look like for, for Nginx One? Well, today we're announcing our early access and we're inviting our interested customers to join that, that process to, in order to give us feedback on what we're doing so that we can really build a product and a set of management services that meets the needs of them, their enterprise and their enterprise uh, developers. Now, we're hoping that this great feedback leads to great products and later this year, because of that, we will have our general availability towards the end of the summer. So between now and then, what can customers do to, to get involved and, and learn about Nginx One? Yeah, so our EA is open to all of our Nginx customers. And if they go to our website, and the link will be posted at the end of this video, they can sign up, we'll bring them onto the platform, and there they'll be able to experience Nginx One and give us all kinds of feedback. And that's what we really need right now is that feedback from the customer. That's absolutely right. Awesome. Well, Sean, Eric, thank you both for joining me today and uh, congratulations on the early access stage for Nginx One. It's really exciting. Great. Thank great. you, Peter.